the superintendent of Azusa Unified School District and I'm at APU with lots of our students for the Gate Open House program. This summer, every year, summer, our kids, our Gate students get a chance to come to APU and engage in really artistic, creative, thought-provoking projects. I've walked the halls, seen their work, it's amazing. The Summer Gate program is one of the areas that we really enjoy having parents and kids come here every summer. And uh, if you go over there, you will see a lot of marvelous works that your kids have done. Together, and it takes a lot. You know, it takes parents, it takes students, it takes um, teachers, and um, you know, APU. There's so much that goes into something like this that I'm so grateful that I got to be a part of it. Um, and your guys' kids just blew me away every day. Every day. I want to start with thanks. And will you join me in a round of applause for Azusa Pacific University? Vamos a dar las gracias a la This is a wonderful program that's a partnership between the school district and the university. And just think about it. Your students have been at a university when they're just little kids, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Very good. Es, es, un, es un programa en, en el cual los niños pueden asistir a la universidad, aunque no más son niños, ¿verdad? Es una oportunidad muy buena para ellos. This also is a time, though, to think about you and your families and to give thanks to you. So everybody, put your hand up. Hacen la mano. Vamos a dar la plaza a nosotros también, ¿verdad? A ver. Otra vez, otra vez. We have to applaud ourselves because you know as parents, it's hard work raising children. And sometimes they're wonderful and loving and sometimes they're full of challenges. And the way you guide them the way you help them through those challenges will determine their future. So thank you for who you are. Estoy diciendo a los padres que gracias a ustedes porque yo sé que son madre también. De vez en cuando los niños se ponen muy bien y todo va bien y otras veces no, ¿verdad? Y como padres todos nosotros tenemos la responsabilidad y el honor de criar a nuestros hijos que sean um, eventualmente uh, ciudadanos con honor, inteligencia, habilidad y el amor de aprender. Es lo que queremos para nuestros hijos. So we want our children to grow up to be honorable people, to use their intelligence wisely, to help other people, to work together well. And that's what we're doing. And that's the wonderful opportunity they've had. Thank you so, so much. So this has been a, a, a whole group effort to make this happen. And we thank all of you for that. I really enjoy coming every year to see the projects that the students are doing here at APU. I also want to thank APU for their partnership. They have a mindset they want to come to college. You know, just, just the projects that they're working on today. We have some students that are second or, or third and fourth graders, and I'm so impressed with the work they have did, all the detail they've did. This is the Unified and APU are a great partnership to make our students to be college and career ready, and that is our mission as a school board member. You get to learn new things and you get to like learn how to like cooperate in a group and each have a part to be in. That, oh, you know if a dog has diabetes, if like they keep on eating and eating but they keep on losing weight. I didn't know that. Azusa City Mayor Joseph Romero Rocha was also in attendance. In his short remarks, he thanked APU and the parents of the Gate students for their partnership. Together we can do it. He said, everything else aside, if it's good for the Lord, it's good for us too. And together, we can do it. I mentioned earlier regarding my granddaughter, you know, she was a um, Gates student and she came here to APU and she was also in the CHAMP program. And at fourth grade, her mindset was to come to APU. So she prepared herself by getting good grades, by volunteering her time. And now I'm proud to say that she is here at APU, a junior at APU waiting for her to graduate. And we had um, Optibots, which were these little robotic uh, sensor vehicles. And I've done the gate program for 20 years. I've been the site gate coordinator. This is my second year doing this newest program where we work with Camp Invention. Uh, it's a great program where they send us different modules. Uh, we're working with really interesting curriculum. We're working with electronics, uh, 
all sorts of artistic things. We take stuff apart and we just have a great time. To see if it would survive and it would stay green, and to turn it on after you hold this button. And if it got red, then that means it didn't survive. If you dropped it from small part, it would. Like in Mr. Conger's class, when we did the drop test, I didn't know you could actually make like, um, like a parachute out of just cardboard and like some um, cloth that you could probably have at home. You know, when I was growing up, I didn't even know about college. And as I got into high school, I still really didn't even think about it. But today, things are different for our children. Our students in Azusa Unified School District, they learn about college from kindergarten. And our students today have been here at APU this summer, being on a college campus, doing creative, artistic, scientific programming work with robots, coding, you name it. They've been doing it. Most importantly, what they've been doing is seeing that college is for them that they belong in college, that their future is in a college, that they have every right and every opportunity to go to college. I'm very thankful for that and know that you are too.